If you like my recipes, make sure to share them and tag me when you do. I love to see it and it really helps me out. Today we're going to be making a chili crunch bacon roasted Brussels sprout and it's going to be delicious. Stay tuned. Start by cooking up some chopped bacon. And while our bacon's cooking, we can start to get our Brussels sprouts ready. I'm being a little bit lazy here. I bought already trimmed and halved Brussels sprouts because it just, it saves so much time. Though I'm not particularly happy about all the plastic packaging, so I kind of regret that, but... At least I don't have to spend an hour chopping all the ends off and splitting them and taking off all the external leaves like you usually do. Toss in some fresh cracked pepper and a fair amount of pepper. Let's keep going. Here we go. Our bacon's done now. We don't want to overcook it, so just be careful of that if you're working on the veg at the same time. It's easy to lose track of things in the kitchen. Our Brussels sprouts are going to go right into the same pan with the bacon fat. Try to turn a lot of them around so that they're face down. I'd like to get that brown cut side, that nice little caramelization. I'm going to stick these in the oven. Roast these at 400 degrees for about 30 minutes. While that's going, we can prepare the rest of our saucy toppings, starting with our green onion. Some sesame oil. Again, my chili crisp. A couple big heaping tablespoons full of chili crisp. Some fresh garlic. Go ahead and crush that in there. It's going to go so well with the chili and the onion. Classic combo. And mix it up. And just for a little bit of tanginess and lightness, I'm going to add some rice vinegar. Spicy, savory. Oniony, garlicky, amazing. It's so good. Get out our nice roasty, toasty Brussels sprouts. I love all the little browned, crunchy bits on there. And the cut side that was down on the pan that got nice and dark, it's my favorite. in our chili crunch bacon sauce. And I would just eat this like a cereal, really, but it'd be perfect to serve at a family dinner at the holidays as a side dish to any kind of meat, really. But I'm just going to eat it out of a bowl because it also works perfectly well as a main. That is hearty. And good and a perfect balance of flavors. So if you're looking for a way to dress up some Brussels sprouts, please try this. 
I hope you like this recipe. Thanks for watching.